In recent years, compact luxury SUVs have exploded, metaphorically speaking. It makes sense. They're a practical, reasonably priced entry into the world of luxury automobiles. To better understand this growing segment, we gathered an Infiniti QX50, Lexus NX, Lincoln MKC, and Mercedes-Benz GLC and drove them from Los Angeles to the wine-producing wonderland of Paso Robles, covering 500 miles in the process. Along the way, we made a few discoveries. One biggie is that despite some dated componentry, the Infiniti QX50 is really fun to drive. While its stiff suspension negatively affects highway ride, the Infiniti corners with gusto, a trait that pairs nicely with its powertrain. Compared to the turbocharged four-cylinders found in its competition, the Infiniti's 325-horsepower V6 and rear-wheel drive made it a notably more thrilling, if less efficient, SUV to fling around corners. Inside, the QX is a blend of pluses and minuses. On the plus side, fit and finish are great, and following a revamp for 2016, rear seat legroom now qualifies as adult-worthy. Among the minuses are a generally snug cabin, the absence of a power lift gate, and an 18.6 cubic foot cargo area that ranks as the smallest in our test, though optional power fold and lift rear seats do help where carrying gear is concerned. On the freeway, the adaptive cruise control system worked well, but the blind spot monitoring and lane departure warning systems struck us as a bit too sensitive. On the other hand, Infinity's around view monitor still impresses, and despite a dated interface, the infotainment slash navigation system was actually fairly easy to use. The Infiniti QX50 is not the newest, roomiest, or most efficient compact SUV, but it is reasonably priced, should hold its value well over time, and most importantly, it's fun to drive. Likely no SUV in our test garnered more attention than the Lexus NX, thanks to its impressively angular exterior. Despite striking looks, the Lexus's sporty driving chops trailed the rest of the class. Whether most buyers care is a different matter. What buyers will care about is the interior, where despite generous passenger space and appropriately upscale materials, the Lexus was outclassed by both the Mercedes-Benz and the Lincoln. On the infotainment front, most of the KBB crew found the NX's touchpad interface to be nicely positioned and intuitive to use. Under this shapely hood sits a 2-liter turbocharged engine that returned the best average fuel economy in our comparison. And while 235 horsepower is the lowest figure in this comparison, our front-wheel drive NX tester never felt underpowered. What we did notice was an unexpected abundance of wind and road noise. Countering our auditory complaints was a smooth freeway ride and pleasant city driving made possible by light steering, unimpeded outward visibility, and a nifty brake hold feature that lets you remove your foot from the brake pedal when stopped. While certainly not perfect, the Lexus NX remains a good choice for those who are dazzled by value, reliability, fuel economy, and daring looks. We didn't necessarily have low expectations of the Lincoln MKC, but whatever expectations we did have were definitely exceeded. Over the course of 500 miles, the MKC proved itself to be comfortable, quiet, and quick. Helping forge that impression was the powertrain. The base MKC utilizes a perfectly capable 240 horsepower, 2 liter engine, but our tester's 2.3 liter engine, 6 speed automatic, and all wheel drive system charmed with smooth, effortless power, and lots of it. Once up to speed, the optional adaptive cruise control worked without issue. While comfortable seats and a smartly arranged, attractive cabin helped us endure long miles traversing California's desolate San Joaquin Valley. If that all sounds excessively glowing, don't worry, there's a catch. Resale values for the Lincoln MKC are projected to fare poorly. Buy one now, and in three years' time, it's likely to be worth thousands less than a comparable GLC, or NX, or QX50. With that on the table, the smart play would be to negotiate a killer price or find a compelling lease deal. Another shortcoming is the MKC's back seat. Even with a reclining seat back, the rear quarters feel small versus the competition. On a more positive note, we very much like the updated SYNC 3 infotainment system. With its modern graphics, easy-to-use navigation, and familiar smartphone-inspired pinch and swipe controls. 
provided you account for or simply don't care about its resale values, the Lincoln MKC is a surprisingly satisfying luxury SUV. The Mercedes-Benz GLC is all new for 2016. Man, do we like it. For starters, the GLC is just plain gorgeous in a classic style that should wear well over time. Beyond its surface appeal, the GLC is remarkably well-rounded. The interior, for example, is classy, contemporary, and comfortable with rear seats your friends won't hate. Cargo space isn't notably larger than the rest of our test group, but the Mercedes does sport a nearly flat load floor and handy one-touch buttons on the C-pillar to drop the rear seats, supplementing releases in the cargo area. Meanwhile, the infotainment system is supremely capable, provided you spend time familiarizing yourself with its nuances. Impeccably tuned driver assistance features like dynamic cruise control, lane keep assist, and forward collision prevention further reinforce the Merck's tech credentials. At the moment, the sole engine offered is a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder paired with a 9-speed automatic. It's a combination that returns a reasonable 24 mpg combined rating in both rear and all-wheel drive forms, while also delivering enthusiastic acceleration. In both highway and city driving, the GLC maintains commendable ride quality without sacrificing agility. On windier sections of road, the Infiniti QX50 holds an edge, but the GLC is still plenty fun to drive. Fun aside, much like the Lincoln MKC, the Mercedes GLC has a financial downside. In this case, an enticing range of options that, if fully exploited, can drive the price tag from less than $40,000 to more than $60,000. With good looks, a welcoming interior, audible fuel economy, pleasing driving dynamics, and the best predicted resale values in our comparison, the Mercedes GLC is a winner. Just watch that option sheet. And that's a super brief look at our 2016 compact luxury SUV comparison. For even more thrilling insights about each vehicle, be sure to check out KBB.com's complete comparison coverage.